Hi guys. So I'm going to apologize for the end of this because it, I spend a lot of time messing up on my lipstick and you can tell it's still not entirely fixed, but it's better than it was. Trust me. Um, just wanted to do a quick video. Just when I say quick, I mean like this video is like 20, going to be 20 minutes long. Hope, hopefully I can cut it down a bit, but if I can't, I apologize for the length of this video. We'll just get right into it. Okay, so I've done my concealer and my brows to start off with. Um, I'm trying out a new concealer. Um, it's the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illuminator. Illumination. Um, full coverage, anti-aging, waterproof concealer. You know, I'm actually kind of liking it so far. For Well, for the under eye part, but the rest of me, eh, not so much. Um... But, let's see. Okay, so, I think I'm going to use the Tarte um, Light of the Party uh, palette. I haven't, I've, you know, I've been reaching for a lot of Tarte lately. And I'm really liking, you know, I've had this for actually a couple of years now. Um, but I used more or less the smaller one. So this came with it, um, here, but this is the palette, a lot of shades, a lot of options, I don't know what I'm going to do, um, let's see what's up, I think I'm going to use a pigment as well from another brand, I think we're going to mostly use this Tarte palette. Um, okay, so I'm going to first take a fluffy brush into a mix of, sorry, I have kind of a cold going on, eggnog and tartini, just as kind of a base. I find sometimes if I have a base, um, shadows tend to blend smoother. So, I don't mean like on the lid, I mean like just generally a base just all over. Um, I think I'm going to, where is this? I kind of grabbed a one. Okay, it's like a gold ish. Sorry, my nose is running like crazy, and I just blew it. Okay, I'm going to go with Peach on Earth and come with Gray on the lid. So I do love Grays, but I don't, sometimes it just, it's a really cold look. Especially on the eyes. Well, to be honest, in general, it's a very cold look. And I kind of want this to be a wear. I want this to be, I th I'm thinking I want this to be a wearable look, so. <sighs> Freaking head. I hate this time of year. I'm all, I swear to God, I spend the entire time sick. Okay, um. I'm going to go into a mix, or no, I'm not, I'm not going to mix it yet, but Party Favor. It's kind of a taupe, taupey brown. And I'm going to do that in the crease. I'm going to darken the crease later on as well. That's a little dark. You know what? My lids are a little darker than I'd like, but whatever. We'll lighten them up in a bit. So I know this is why I haven't really done a video because I'm, I swear to God, I'm constantly wiping my nose and I'm sorry, it's disgusting, but it's either that or snot halfway down my face. Okay, and now I'm going to go into a mix of Cocoa What Fun and Gingerbread Mount, Man, Mansion, Gingerbread Mansion, so these two. 
So they're kind of more on the brown side. And with my smudge brush, I just kind of, I dot it on my waterline and just kind of smooth it out. Then I hit my orbital bone. Move it out. And I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I just, I actually just blend it through where I just originally put it on to make sure it's, it's smooth and not patchy, which sometimes it can be even though you do it properly. Because that's just what friggin' happens. Okay, so I'm gonna lighten my lid a little bit with sugar cookie, which is kind of a whitish. I really want that light base. And I could use a concealer, but I don't, I, I don't know, I still want the gray to kind of come through. That's why I'm I'm dabbing it lightly. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into this pigment I have. I'm gonna decide on my under, uh, if I'm doing liner yet. Like, not uh, uh, top liner, just like regular under here liner. So I'm going into uh, Lit, the Lit uh, Clearly Liquid Glitter base. And I'm gonna use it's called it's called sexy. It's from Unique. I'll show you in a second. This also is a really good highlight. Actually, I'm gonna come on, get out. I'm just I just don't want too much because these holes are quite big. I don't mind getting too much glitter base on my brush because I, A, I have to wash it anyways, B, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to put this kind of in the center. Um, if you look dead on in a mirror, in a mirror, um, this is going to go basically right above where your eye actually is. So this actually brings a lot of um, light into your eye. So it's kind of like doing a, a uh, it's kind of like the sa same idea we all used to do with the white eyeliner. Is it's kind of bringing a lot of light into your, at least I did this, okay? Like I have naturally small eyes, so if you look at a lot of my uh, late uh, my teens and I'm gonna say a bit of my early 20s as well. I had that white liner in the corner of my eye. I was rocking that. I was rocking that uh, that mess. It's not a terrible decision. It's still not a terrible decision. It's just you know what that that's just how the look was in the early in the early 2000s. And now it's evolved, which is which is great because nobody needs to do that anymore. You can, I mean it's not a terrible look, but now there's just so many options. 
And I think most girls actually did that. Um, so, what are we doing for a brow bone highlight? And are we doing an under eye? Um, you know what? Okay, we're going to find the brow bone highlight, which I think I'm going to use a mix of In a Flurry and Fizz the Season. These two. Because In a Flurry has that sparkle I really want, I'm thinking I like. Might look good with this look. And In a Flurry is a very good white. It's not in your face white. It's not like a literal white, which I, again, I used to do that all the time using a white, white uh, eyeshadow as a highlight. Again, everybody did it until you realize, oh God, this is not actually a good look, which is my favorite. Okay, you know, I'm going to put some liquid liner on and then we'll figure out if we need an under eye look. So I'm using... The NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. So hopefully this... Stay mascara. When you use a felt tip for so long, and then you go back to liquid liner. It's, it's weird. And yes, we're going to fix up the... Now you can see. I'm sure you can now see it, but the fallout under my eye from a couple of the shadows. Yes, we're going to fix that up. So, as always, my eyeliner is not the same. You know, I, just, I think I really do want to do an under, under eye look. Or an under eye, eye, eyeliner. The Words. So, I don't want to do something too, too dark. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go with under the mistletoe. Okay, I literally just, what I did is I just dotted on and then I'm going to take a smudge brush. I'm just kind of. And that a little bit out. Okay. Now, as most of you know, I like I like to do the rest of my face before I do my mascara. So we are going with. Okay, so we're gonna first do bronzer because I've got the palette open, which I'm going into Social Butterfly by. Tart. So a little bit of tip, if you've never done a contour before, suck in your cheeks like a fish. It's so much easier. So also side so note, the uh, I'm aware this is not exactly the greatest color for me. So what I do, you'll see in a second, is I blend it, is I have another brush that I blend it out with. Which I'm really loving. This is a uh, an e.l.f. brush. So I'm really loving it. 
So everywhere I hit the contour. And sometimes, I know my cheeks, I like to thin it out just to make sure it's not blending everywhere. Um, for a cheek, I like to mix two of them. So I go into Rockateur first. And that goes all back. Like from your cheekbones back. And then I go into, I think it's dandelion, but this light pink. And that just goes on the apples of my cheeks. If you don't know where the apples are your cheeks, smile. Smiling actually pulls out the apples of your cheeks, so then it makes it a little easier for you to figure out where you're wanting to put things. Okay, so I take a clean fluffy brush. Okay, and now I'm gonna go into Mary Lou Manizer with that fluffy brush. And I'm dotting it on my cheekbones and a little bit on my mouth. I like those lips. So I just did a little bit, um, wiping it off, blending that out. Not a fan of how it's blending out, so I'm gonna take a different brush. Okay, and now we do mascara, which I'm using Lash Co uh, Full Lash Bloom by Color Cover Girl. For the most part, it's it's a pretty good it's pretty good lash uh, mascara. So obviously, just as I'm almost done, my phone decides to di my uh, camera decides to die. So I'm just gonna finish it up here with some lip, and I don't know what to do. Okay, so we're gonna go with some laundry from Nars. Apparently, I don't know how to put on lipstick today. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix this up because apparently I'm new to lipstick today, so. I, uh, oh my God, this is a mess. I'm gonna fix this up over you mess up your lipstick so bad that you... This is not my day. <laughs> so this is the look. Um, oh, it's a very simple look. I don't know. I want to do something with my Tarte, my Tarte uh, palette on camera. So I've been playing around with it a lot lately. But see you guys in the next video.